Let's explore the largest tendon in our body and a condition that is painful but treatable. I'm Dr. Steve Pinney and today we will be discussing Achilles tendonitis. To understand Achilles tendonitis, it's important that you understand how the Achilles tendon functions. The Achilles is the largest tendon in the body. It needs to withstand two to three times body weight with every step we take, and even more force with dynamic activities such as running. The Achilles can become painful and swollen from tendonitis due to increased wear and tear. Tendonitis occurs when there are microscopic injuries to the tendon fibers, the same way that a rope can develop mild fraying with increased use. The body responds to these microscopic injuries by sending increased blood and inflammatory mediators to the Achilles. This can lead to painful swelling of the tendon and also the synovial lining that surrounds the tendon. The symptoms of Achilles tendonitis include pain and swelling around the tendon. The pain often begins following a sudden increase in activity, such as performing intense sporting activities on the weekend or perhaps after starting a new and more intense training program. Achilles tendonitis is more common in middle-aged athletes because tendons and muscles tend to stiffen and weaken as we age. Treatment of Achilles tendonitis. Fortunately, most patients with symptomatic Achilles tendonitis can be treated without surgery. A typical treatment program will last between 4 and 12 weeks and have three phases. Phase 1 is designed to get the symptoms to settle. It can last 1 to 4 weeks and will include backing off most activities and some form of immobilization. A heel lift is often added to help take the load off the Achilles with each step. If the symptoms are severe, immobilization in a boot or cast may be needed. Phase two is a rehabilitation period, whereby the patient works to strengthen the surrounding muscles, increase the flexibility of the tendon and the calf muscles, and help mobilize any scar tissue that has formed around the inflamed Achilles. This phase two of the treatment is often done with the help of a physical therapist. The second phase also includes a very gradual increase in activity level, with an eventual return to regular activities after a number of weeks. Eccentric exercises are also added in phase two. These are strengthening exercises that load the calf muscle and the Achilles while also lengthening these structures. Eccentric exercises have proven to be very effective for rehabbing patients with Achilles tendonitis. However, these exercises must be introduced gradually. Phase three of the Achilles tendonitis treatment program is a maintenance phase. Strengthening and stretching of the Achilles and lower extremity muscles should be continued indefinitely. And patients should take care to avoid any dramatic increase in activities which might cause the Achilles tendonitis symptoms to recur. I hope that this video has been helpful to your understanding of Achilles tendonitis. To learn more, I invite you to click on the link below. Until next time, I'm Dr. Steve Finney.